G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza, and today we're going to take part in one of the things I enjoy most in life, stealing other people's content ideas. <laughs> Stealing's probably too harsh a word, let's just say plagiarise. Borrow. Borrow is good. A couple of days ago Mark Crilly released a video which is the upside down face drawing challenge and I saw it and I just, sometimes I can't help but feel like when I see some great ideas that it just looks so fun to do. So I'm going to attempt to do it today but I'm going to do it with a little more of a Jazza style than a Mark Creeley style and what I mean by that is just far less refined. <laughs> if you haven't go check out Mark's video I'll link to it in the card in the description it's really great and he spends a lot of time making a very polished and very effective upside down character's face however I'm, I'm gonna have a bit of fun doing a, a bit of a rapid fire approach today. I want to see if I can attempt to create different aesthetics and just sort of see how far I can stretch this idea in different directions or if I'm totally incapable of doing it effectively at all. I have no idea but we're gonna find out because it looks like a lot of fun and uh, I, that's what I want to do today. So let's do it. Now I'm going to be using two tools. I'm going to be using my construction blue pencil. I'm going to be using a brush pen. So I'm going to start really basic. Let's uh, let's just go like a nice circle head. Let's And do you know what? Let's egg shape it. Let's egg this baby up. This character is going to look very bored with very, very low brows. And I'm going to add some like these, uh, some of these furrow fr frown lines. I mean, this is where it gets a bit tricky. The nose, I guess, has to double as forehead headlines when it's flipped but then forehead lines have to somehow <laughs> double as the the mouth does that look that doesn't look like a forehead line it just looks like a piggish nose on his forehead let's have ears that are sort of pointing up this way now at this point I feel like I'm sort of guessing but I need to like mellow things out a bit so that the the flip looks good but also without the flip it doesn't look this <laughs> weird. We definitely need a mouth and we need a mouth that follows the same shape as the this line here so it looks like a frown line. Does that work? It'll do. <laughs> Let's add a bit of a bit of a widow's peak here. Have the hair that sort of comes up or well, I mean down. I, my orientation is getting all messed up because I was thinking about it flipped and it would be going up towards the ears but really this is coming down. The, I'm confused. This is confusing. And what do we do with like the, the neck slash head? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I wonder if I can do a shirt that looks a bit like a top hat. There you go. These are his arms. I'm not going to draw his hands. I'm just going to draw the sh He's just got a shirt. The other thing I haven't been really sort of thinking about is the expression of the flipped character. Sort of um glum expression. But flipped they're going to be the bottom eyelids. So this is probably going to be a very intense expression. Let's have the frown lines sort of poke up a bit like this. When I say up, I actually mean down because I'm still confused. If we draw bags under his eyes, they'll probably look like eyelids. And if we draw like dark bags, <laughs> flipped, he's probably going to look a bit angry. This looks like a, like a grumpy gnome super saiyan, which is good because that's exactly what I'm going for. With, with uh, a t-shirt and no arms. Again, what I'm going for. <laughs> look, I'm alright with this for a first attempt. Are we ready? Are we ready? We're not ready. Now is the time for the flip. Uh, <laughs> We've got this sort of leprechaun gnome thing happening. I mean this looks better upside down than it does right way up. That's so, that's kind of perfect. Oh my god. What, like now that the image is settling it was always meant to, <laughs> to be this. This is this is fun. I knew this would be fun. I had a good feeling about this. Look at this. We have a skinny little armless gnome looking old but very young looking character and then a big bearded leprechaun. Perfect. Wait. This needs colour. We've got a nice green top hat right here which of course when it's flipped it looks like a shirt with no arms. What do you think of my Irish accent? Pretty bad. Pretty terrible. Top of the morning to you laddies. Is your pale Irish skin. And done. This is a thing of beauty. <laughs> This is really cool. Oh man, that's awesome. Let's do another one. Now the problem is I'm already feeling myself be pinned to a few specific features or, or traits or you know design elements. Specifically the no eyebrow hair thing because if you flip it then what I mean what it, I'd be interested to see if there's ways to make it work. Let's challenge ourselves and do an eyebrow one where we're gonna have eyebrows but we'll try and incorporate it into the flip. Okay this time we're gonna do a lady character. We're gonna go with an old character. So let's add some crow's feet here. You know, flipped head, I guess they will look like, I don't know what they will look like. That's the nose. I guess flipped, we, let's try and like misdirect and have like a really wide nose for the flip. Ooh, ooh, and we're gonna have a really creepy, massively wide smile. So we'll have this big mouth 
like this. Now for the straightforward head, let's go with the, this gaunt look. Oh, hair. I guess if we make it work to look like an outfit of some sort, so she can have like sh hunched shoulders and we've got this shawl and a brooch, lovely shining brooch and flip that will look like some sort of turban. I imagine, I hope. <laughs> I wonder if like, if I add like a, a little line here, that's going to look like maybe feathers when it's up like this, but flipped, it will hopefully look like hair sweeping off to the side is a possibility. <laughs> All right, now for the hair slash clothing flip. So what if we get some sort of more of a hair texture? <laughs> it just looks like she's bald down the middle of her head. But that's okay. In fact, let's give her a little, little bow. <laughs> All right, now we're going again for the creepy smile. Let's add a, <laughs> add a little bow tie here. I feel like the bow tie was a, in my opinion, a stroke of genius. The hair on the other hand, I don't know. It's like a weird alteration on the Hey Arnold hairdo. <laughs> Is it gonna look like an outfit? I'm just gonna very, very lightly do the skin tone. She's gonna be very pale. Doesn't go outside much. And then under the eyes here, I can fill this in even darker because then flipped, they're gonna look like eyebrows. All right, now let's go a bit crazy with this one. Let's let's give her apparently purple hair. I mean, what would you call this color? It's not purple, is it? You would call this mulberry, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what a mulberry is. It sounds tasty. Wait, this is, it's a thing, isn't it? It. Here we go around the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. What's a mulberry? I need to know now. I'm literally Googling mulberry in the middle of recording this video. Ah, oh, that's just a blackberry. Is a mulberry a blackberry? That's one of the top search results. No, no, it's not. They're different. God, this video is fun and educational because you see the blackberry is a perennial plant, whereas the mulberries belong to the Morris genus, the Marache family. I should probably get back to drawing pictures. Her hair is the color of mulberries. Oof, she's having a bad day. Okay, are we ready? I am not ready. I'm a little worried. I mean, let's just also take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this is. I mean, that's still special, right? Like no matter how it turns out flipped, this is, I'm glad we did this. Head flip number two, you ready? One, two, three. Whoa, what? That's really creepy. It looks like a man flipped and it looks sort of like a Humpty Dumpty-esque man, but flipped, I mean, this is like a really pervy fortune teller <laughs> who fell off a wall when all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put it together again. The longer I look at it, the more I understand it. And it's sort of not bad. One thing can be said though, it works upside down and right way up. And we ticked off two little things. We ticked off not requiring facial hair. Uh, and we also ticked off using eyebrows. We're learning, we're growing, we're improving, and we're really creeping ourselves out right now. <laughs> Both of them are equally horrifying. Ah! <laughs> Don't know what to make of this. I have such strange powers to make myself fear my own abilities this way. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is cool. All right, let's do one more. Now let's do something different. Let's try and not rely on wrinkles. That's gonna be tough. Let's just start off with a face shape and, and just see where we go from there. Okay, so I've made ones that look a little weird or kooky. I wonder, and maybe this is my final challenge, if I can make one that looks cool in both directions. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Oh, 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 you know what's cool? Glasses. Glasses are cool. Now we're drawing someone cool, and if it's just sort of semicircle eyes here, that means they're gonna be very open, which isn't a cool expression if they're like, I'm gonna try and do a, a cool hairdo too. You know how the cool kids these days have like like shaved sides of the heads? Do a bit of that, bit of that, get, get a bit of the trendy, get a bit, bit of the trendy stuff happening, kids. <laughs> I mean, what else do they have? It's usually, it looks like a, like a puff, like a powder puff on top of the head. So we'll have like a swirl, like a, like a very fluffy looking beard. <gasps> A hood. What if he's got like a like a hoodie hood? Maybe. All right. Let's let's try and take this back a step. And the hood can sort of go over his head shape a bit. I mean, that's sort of gonna have to be it. It, it looks like a strange hat more than a hood. I'm trying something tricky. I'm trying to give him a raised eyebrow. 
when it's upside down and it's gonna look like one of the eye uh, lower eyelids is I guess sort of doing more work <laughs> this way up I definitely feel like at least this way up the character looks pretty dynamic so let's go with some color now this guy looks like a wizard <laughs> he's got the beard and the hood so over here it's gonna be like five o'clock shadow that turns into a fade when it's flipped and then this hair is gonna be nice and thick and dark and we're going with really dark hair because that's obviously gonna make use of the eyebrows being a solid black into the glasses but you know what let's say let's go fancy let's add a streak of white to the beard here that sort of adds a little to the mystical touch like uh, like a like a wizard and I feel like upside down that's gonna look like shine or like hair product in the hair okay Ooh, this is cool I'm having fun all right and then we have the robes oh ooh, here's like a, a bluey gray a gray -y blue I don't know which way you'd say it but one of those two all right I am happy with this this way up I think he looks pretty cool he has a strange line thing on his forehead but I don't, <laughs> don't know what else I can do about that all right you ready for the flip you ready I'm not ready ooh, ooh, nervous okay one two three boom <laughs> Oh wow, that works really well. Like I didn't imagine that the hood would work as a scarf. I just thought generic clothes, but that looks like a like a cool like thick scarfy turtlenecky thing. This is a very fashionable dude. <laughs> he's got the swooping hair and he's given us the he's given us the expression, you know? He's given us the the funky eyes. Oh man, that worked really well. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Okay, look at that. I I feel like we accomplished what we set out to with the, the final one. That this dude looks very cool, like a wizardy dude. And then this dude looks very cool, like a, like a dude with attitude. Man, this was fun. I am so glad that I stole Mark Curley's idea for today's video. Oh man, I could just keep doing this. This is awesome. Let me know what you guys think. And hey, give it a go yourself and send me your tweets. I'd love to see what you can come up with and how you can challenge yourself. And if any of you can come up with ones that look, I don't know, maybe more feminine or maybe younger or like just trying different ways to, to break the boundaries of this challenge because it's quite difficult. But when you can do it, it like it's really satisfying. This was... <laughs> fun. I think this last one is my favorite because it feels really distinctive like a character in both directions. Like, oh, that's so cool. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and for more, subscribe to Draw with Jazza for more fun with art and creativity. That is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.